That is, what? That is dope. Oh, look, they're just sharing a nice drink. There's nothing wrong going on. Don't look at the wall. Don't look at the wall. Don't look at the wall. Look, it's just an old couple having a good time. Don't look at the wall. Look at him. This is what you did to him. Why the milk? And what is this person? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, no. See, that's why you don't go parading around buildings that look dilapidated and abandoned. Fell right through the damn ceiling. <laughs> He's got that Papillon as above, so below treatment, but just on the roof. The consequences of the four for four. It's gonna send you straight to the sh and then straight to the moon. Pray before him. His plastic exterior shows no mercy. You must crack it to get to the fleshy innards of God and Jesus. That's why he's praying. And that's what happens when you pray to false idols. That's why you're throwing up in front of that Jesus and not the Mr. Potato Head Jesus. See, he's just expelled a demon. He's cured. How many tracks do you think this egg got on it? I hope this is in 4K. I hope this is an egg vision. Every fish I catch on the on the lake side, I'll give it a big old hearty kiss to thank it for being cooperative in my fishing journey. And then I make a filet. You know, I've seen this one before and he's inviting. I don't think there's anything right, you know. Thanks, Elmo. Thanks for warming the bed up for me. I could never be mad at you. Oh no. They're using the Pepto-Bismol vision to pinpoint the veins on the elderly. You stay away from me, Ma. Hey, nothing wrong with this. This thing isn't cursed. This guy's just taking a little nap. Don't worry about him. It might not be something that you can do on the safety card, but who needs safety when you got comfort? I'm not gonna bother him. We got the condiments and sauces shelf and then we got the live fish drawer always got to have a live fish drawer on your fridge Mima's had better days she's had better days things haven't been quite the same since she got that botox surgery this picture doesn't look quite right this looks like the scary movie version of michael jackson like the comedy parody scary movies the head feels just a little too uncanny like this is a, a plastic thing you know there's something wrong with this but i can't tell what bring mom in free Spend Mother's Day getting sweaty with your mom. Oh, really? Oh, me and mom, Gus. No, don't you worry. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's better than taking her to the haunted mansion. I'm sorry for intruding on your space, Homer. I'll, I'll get out. You don't gotta get the bat. It's okay. Your moo moo time is very sacred. I should have respected that. I'm sorry. Look, just put it down and I'll see myself out, okay? Hey, what are you doing with all that milk? Oh, you better not think about sliding at supersonic speeds. Oh, there you go, man. I hope you get a high score too. You look like you're zooming pretty fast. Now, this is like, I can see it being cursed and like the sense of oh there's a scary clown what i think is more cursed about this is that no one's reacting to it i feel like his presence would be domineering enough to warrant a reaction especially by the woman closest in the back but they're like oh that's just uh it's just jerry you know joyful jerry he carries an axe because he cuts up a firewood i think that's the truly unsettling part of this photo what is in that lava lamp that's no longer lava it's that's an organism you're growing something in there that's a bio lab hey just a couple of dudes hanging out on a stone tower don't worry about it no humpty dumpty here just two bros we got another clown thing looks like he's just saying and a cheerful clown's wish to you this looks like an old painting this looks like something that like you would see i don't even know where you would see a painting like this this just feels old and like it would be in an uncanny place oh no oh uh. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Clean your car, man. It's a vehicle, not a trash bin. Oh, this looks AI generated. This doesn't look real. And I don't know if I'm disappointed or grateful for that. Like on one hand, you know, boo, AI. It ruins the cursedness. It's not It's not cursed. It's just generated. Someone made this a prompt. But on the other hand, you're telling me there's no little goblin men hanging out like this? They didn't pose up for this photo? Maybe it's not AI, but it just with what's going on with it, and I'm trying to like look at the hands and stuff, this... Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's real. In my heart, I want it to be real. Damn glitch in the matrix. We copy and pasted the same fox three times over. But that's okay, because now they're all friends. Sometimes the price you pay for ravioli is your skin, muscle, and the top half of your body. But I'll tell you what, sounds like it was worth it. And they shared it with a friend. This guy's posted up. This is on his Craigslist listing for sure. And for a good time call. And you get to touch the penguin if you're extra nice. Do you want to explore the Kanto region? with me go ahead pick your favorite starter oh you like bulbasaur interesting oh the parade of poo this ain't cursed they're having a good old time and they're closing in on one lucky guest oh put the baby down <laughs> it's probably the dad like <laughs> 
And the kid's like, no! I guarantee you it's the dad wearing this costume just scaring the crap out of his own kid. They don't know how to get out of the puddle. They don't know they could just leave. As far as they're concerned, they're on a deserted island in the middle of the street. <laughs> the kid's pulling with all he's got. He's trying his best. So you hate Easter? He just wants to know what's going on. Why you don't like Easter? Maybe it's, uh, you know, we can give you an egg, a chocolate egg, maybe? Maybe that'll change your mind? Or maybe we have to use other methods to convince you about Easter. Aw, happy birthday to the rats. They were waiting for Michael, but he never showed. Nah. <laughs> nah. That's like a deep-seated fear. Oh, no. I don't like that image at all. Just trying to take a ch and a centipede latches onto your balls. No, thank you. Isn't this a scan of like a baby or something? I feel like I've seen this photo before. It's a metal as hell picture. I think it's actually just a head MRI. I don't think it's specifically like a baby. I think it's just a an, the, what it looks like when you get an MRI of your head. Oh, uh, look, it's uh, yeah, this was the weirdest peeps advertising campaign I've ever seen. Didn't make a lot of sense and I didn't like it very much. That's kind of hardcore. What would this be used for? Because the spikes are on the outside. So it's just like to handle like a dangerous animal. Like, is this something they use to wrangle a bear? I had to Google it. It is an 1800s Siberian bear hunting suit. Go ahead. Go through the door inside the door where it leads you to. You may not know, but I guarantee you'll be surprised. Mmm, yep, go to bed. Just get some sleep while the man in the white mask watches over you. He'll make sure you get a good night's rest. Count all your breaths, too. Oh my god! That is the most grotesque Teletubby I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like that before. And like, there's always been, you know, unsettling mascot costumes, you know? Some some real, like, yeah, the, the, the Mickey and Minnie from Disney back in the day, or like the old Chuck E. Cheese costumes. Something about this Teletubby Teletubby one? Like, this is like lead poisoning stare Teletubby. Oh, look at the happy couple. Uh, they're just like you and me. I don't see anything wrong with this. Go ahead. Take a seat on the longest bench. And if you're lucky, you get a back to your seat as well. Rehab was supposed to be a fresh start for that horse. And now they're just chilling with the D in their pool. You can make an animated show about this. <laughs> oh, you know, just hanging out with the forest monsters. It asked kindly for us to open up the fence, so we did and now it's here a harbinger of good times one where do you find this suit two <laughs> why do you put this on and go bring me the baby this will be awesome bring me the child this kid's like going through it and you're there's no one in that costume i don't see a single pair of eyes behind those eye holes that is a husk well now why is this curse this is just a tastefully placed television we gotta have somewhere to put it i'm not gonna judge this lemon it paid its bus fare like everyone else who would i be truly to judge this lemon just trying to get home after an honest day's work so this photo as far as i remember this is like an actual like what corpse inside of a statue right i don't know if i ever knew if this was a hoax or not i think everything i've ever looked into for this was like yeah no this is just a <laughs> <laughs> they just put a body in this statue, which is pretty hardcore. Oh, he's just hungry. Let him eat. Stop taking pictures of him while he's dining. He's just trying to have a meal. Oh, a creature. A creature in my headphone. Is that a little bat? Oh, dude. He doesn't mean no wrong. He's just chilling. What is that? Is that a sewer pipe? What is going on in here? We got the little statue. Someone's clearly using this as an altar of some sort. There's a little life preserver. Someone washed up here and is praying. Oh, boy there's even more oh <laughs> this is a sewer okay this is no ninja turtle dojo american horror story i don't remember this episode i don't remember this episode at all you've come across his mushroom hideout dude you gotta pay the fungus tax lest you be tried for treason yo this photo okay so i'm really into stuff that's scary i'm really into horror i'm starting to uh on my own stuff make like video essays about horror if i recall this image is from a creepy pasta in like 2012. Ooh, big pit of bones. Bastard skellies abound and plentiful. Don't get in there. They're not gonna let you out. Yep, things get crazy around the Everglades. He's just smoking a pack of Marlboros. Don't mind him. His days of being a, uh, you know, top of the food chain big cat, long behind him. <laughs> He's just trying to relax. The final process of being a true Barbie girl is being, uh, covered in snails. It's a part that most don't talk about, but if you're a true Barbie girl, you would know this is fact. 
Ooh, look how big that thing is. You know what it kind of looks like? It looks like that um that Japanese serpent, the uh the Orochi. We finally found him. He's been chilling here this whole time. Do you like our snowman? Hey, it looks just like him. You guys made a spitting image. A face app morph of all Supreme Court justices since 1980. This is just one guy. This is just <sighs> hey, what's that's what's gotta happen when you're serving for life. When you're a justice for, for life? There's no thoughts behind his head. They're all gone now. How dare you? We're playing a game of Uno and you'll pull out a dose card? Inconceivable. Oh, a creature. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Is this like a plastic spider and a lizard decided to make its home inside there? Or is this like a Sid from Toy Story, but he decided to level up to real creatures? What's going on here? I said I'm tired of getting these goddamn floating heads in the house. I'll shoot. I'll do it. God, don't do it, man. He's paying rent just like the rest of us. Oh, look at this. He's just got his legs. He's got his walking legs. Good for him. Oh, that is quite a bit of blood. Quite a bit of fake blood. Wonder if it's uh, flavored or not. He really got them the Overlook Hotel special, huh? Oh, well, he's just hanging out. That's not spooky. Don't bother him. Where is he, though? That might not be safe for him to chill out in for long. It looks a little too industrial for you to sleep in, man. Oh, you know, the National Convention of the Dummies. Crash dummies, CPR dummies, really any kind. Mannequins, they all come. They congregate once a year to talk about mannequin and dummy things. You were gone for a little too long, so I brought all my friends over, says the lead Furby. I hope you don't mind, but they'll be extending their stay indefinitely. This photo is dope. I've seen this photo a ton. This ain't a cursed image. This guy's awesome. While my man's hanging out on the Gravitron, he's just chilling. I love that there's a guy to the left who just applauding this, this dude's stance. I mean, he's running the country fair at this point, right? He's there's he's the ruler. We heard you had grain for feeding. We're here to graze. Oh, well, okay. You know, you would think that she did this for fun, but her face says otherwise. This is, she thought it'd be funny at the first lobster, but now, at, you know, lobster 30, she's like, well, this is a mistake. This was one too many lobster. You leave him alone. He's just trying to work the board. He's just trying to do his job like everyone else. He's chilling out. You leave this guy alone. He's cooking shit that's going to wake up the pharaohs. Cause another reign of scarabs. <laughs> is this David Hasselhoff? Was this for the SpongeBob movie? That's dope. What? I, I knew they used one of these, like a standing one, right? But this is like a 14 foot prop. This thing was placed on mechanical equipment to make him like swim. This is pretty neat. Oh no, they're having a honey mustard ritual. All right, everyone go, go change your calendars. We're about to have another six weeks of March. What am I looking at here? I actually can't even tell what I'm looking at. What is that? Is this just light? What is this? I can't even tell what kind of creatures there are that are looking at them. It's like a bunch. They have like the Minecraft phantom eyes, dude. Whoa, that is a tall guy right there. What is this all about? I'm inclined to believe this might be something AI generated when looking at the guys at the bottom and some of the faces, how they morph. Um, I would like it to not be. This is really cool looking, but I'm leaning toward this being AI generated just based on the, the folks at the bottom of this photo. Wow! <laughs> I hate that! What is the story about this thing? Holy! I don't even, I don't know if I've seen this anywhere. Hey, you know, brass knuckles are so last year. Now I use my teeth knuckles. That gets the point across. Oh, no. Yeah, it's cordyceps. I think what this actually is is slime mold, which is so weird. Very interesting. I don't know enough about slime mold to give a full take on it. I do know they're no longer considered fungus, which I don't know what category of creature you'd put slime mold under then, if that's its own new kingdom now or what. But man, if that doesn't if that doesn't look like something that would turn you into a clicker, there's nothing wrong with this guy. I've seen this one everywhere. This this one's been passed around so long, it's no longer cursed. What a <laughs> he's just a guy with weird interests. What? What what's your weird about her flesh-colored high heel boots? Don't worry about her. She's just shopping for a bargain. Good God, Thomas, you've seen better days. So what happens if you don't invest in railroads? That is <laughs> the, the the face, the smile that this thing has given me. I'm blushing. You think it likes me? Oh my God. We got what? Donald Duck. I see is that Pink Panther and Bart Simpson. I don't know who these other two in the back are, but they're equally frightening. <laughs> 
Why is it in the dark? What is this theme park? Oh, they're just hanging out. This has such a, a surreal aura to it. Trying to learn about this a little more, I found a website called bathinmymilk.com and it is full of photos like this. So this is like clearly an artistic work. That's so interesting. Oh no. Show this to someone in Generation Alpha and they'll say it's the Skibbity Toilet Massacre. That just seems so frightening. I, they made the nose hole for breathing, but I just, oh no. Imagine having to take all that off after. Oh no. No thanks. Now that's cool. We got a little watermark at the bottom here. So is this a little art project? Where do you find this many animal skulls? That's ah, really dope looking. Feels haunted in a way. Nothing, nothing scary here. This creature's just unlocked their third eye. They're on a different ascendant plane that I know nothing about. This isn't scary. This is enlightening. Oh, two creatures making communication for the first time. They're now friends. Whoa, what are these? What are these little observers? I just learned what they are. <laughs> it is my pleasure to tell you these are called Asquatches. The Asquatch is a creature taxidermied from a, a deer's ass. And thus, it is the Asquatch. I don't have anything to say about this one. This just, aside from the obvious strangeness, this just doesn't look appetizing. It's what, a bunch of wieners in there? The chicken looks undercooked. No seasoning. Oh no. Oh wait, look what's on the food. Are these like fly eggs? What's on there? Oh, he's just feeling up before a tree. Don't mind him. What the f is this thing? Yeah, I would have the same reaction as that baby. What is <laughs> what is going on in this photo? Thank God we're at a time where character mascots are not frightening. It used to, it had to have been hell to be a child back in like the, even like the, what, the 80s, 90s? That's just a, oh my God. I think this is like early 90s. What is going on here? Why is she wearing that? It's connected to something that at their waistband. This is like gotta be a photo, like an art project of some kind, you know? Very cool looking, but I, I wish I knew more. Oh, look, that's how we get new butchers. You show a baby the process of a meat grinder and if they're really happy about it, they're enamored by it, then yeah, uh, they're gonna have a great time. Welcome to the, the world of uh, butcher shops, baby. You're gonna go far. <laughs>